Bonjour. So it's recently brought to my attention that my delivery in these uh, videos is sh**. Um, and it's been also brought to my attention that to remedy that, uh, I should talk about things that I am more passionate about. Obviously, as you can tell from um, this, I am massively passionate about Funko Pops. Obviously. And so that is exactly what we're doing in today's video. We have two mystery boxes here from Bring Me The Funko. Uh, Bring Me The Funko, if you don't know, is a Funko YouTuber. Uh, and he also has his own uh, mystery box website where he sells, if you couldn't guess, mystery boxes. No way! And uh, I actually recently won a giveaway from him. You can actually see um, two of the figures here that uh, won in that giveaway. Uh, but that was just an absolutely insane giveaway that he gave away so much stuff in. It was his 1k uh, subscriber giveaway. Uh, but that's besides the point. This isn't uh, from that. But I thought because I had such a good experience with that giveaway, I thought I'd check out some of his mystery boxes. And the uh, mystery box that happened to be on his website at the time of me purchasing was a Marvel Star Wars mystery box. And the two main things that I collect is Marvel and Star Wars. So I thought that would be perfect for me, because, like I say, I'm, I'm almost guaranteed to get something that I enjoy in that mystery box. Even if it's something that's not one of the top hits, it's still going to be something that I enjoy, and that I want, that I actually collect. So, no matter what, I'm going to be happy with it. And so, unless it's a duplicate, of course, unless it's like a figure that I've already got, but, but you know, I'm sure I can buy a good home for it, if it's something that I already own. Uh, so yeah, let's just bring up the uh, top hits on the uh, screen now, and we'll go through the stuff that I most want out of this box. So hopefully on screen right now, you're seeing some of the, uh, the best figures that are in this box. Uh, in terms of what I'm looking for, my top three would be that uh, Boba Fett, I really want that Boba Fett. Um, the Dark Side Anakin Skywalker would be a very cool one. Or the uh, the Groot, uh, I'm a huge fan of Groot, I love collecting. Anytime I can get a, my hands on a new Groot figure, I'll always buy it. Um, I have quite a, few, uh, quite a few different Groots, but that is one that I don't have because it's a Collect Core exclusive, so I would love to be able to get that one. Um, they're, they're like my top three. But in terms of other figures, I think that Svoba is worth a, worth a fair bit, so I quite have to get that. The uh, Darth Raven as well, I know is worth quite a lot, um, so that one would be a really cool one to get. Uh, either of those two Lokis I do quite like, uh, the Venomized, uh, not Venomized, the Zombie Magneto uh, would also be a, uh, a really cool figure to get. You know, just, there's a lot of really cool figures in there, and so <laughs> I'd love to get, well I'd love to get any of the top hits really, because they're all Marvel or Star Wars. But my top three is definitely Boba Fett, Anakin, or Groot. So um, hopefully we can get any of those three in this box today. So let's just stop rambling on right now and get into the main event and cut into the box. So these are completely random. So there's a 50-50 chance of me getting a something expensive or something cheap. Uh, if I get something expensive, I'll know because it'll be in a protector. If it's £15 or more, it comes in a protector. So that's really cool. Um, and uh, like I say, if there's 50-50 chance of me getting a hit or a miss, so hopefully, because I ordered two, that means that I will get... Um, hopefully one hit and one miss. I mean, I know that's not quite how things work, but, uh, you know, if the odds are in my favour, I mean, if the odds are in my favour, I'll get two hits, but, uh, honest, like I say, I'd be happy with, um, I'm cutting this really weirdly, but I'd be happy with two miss, uh, two misses, probably, because they'll most likely be still something that I enjoy, uh, because it's Marvel or Star Wars. Right, there we go. So, uh, they both feel quite light, so I'm assuming neither of them are probably in a um, protector, so I'm guessing we've not got anything too expensive here. But, at the same time, you never know. Uh, so, let's just cut into it and take a look. Uh, 
working on the second. Right. Let's see what this is. Hopefully it's something that I don't already have. It is in bubble wrap, so I can't actually see what the uh, what the figure is as of just yet. I'm not looking, I'm not looking where's the uh, front of the there we go. Yeah. Unwrap it in the bubble wrap. I'll show you first. And then Oh oh no, it is in a protector. It's in a protector. So we've got something good. We've got something good. Okay, I don't know which side is the front, so I'm just gonna show you like that. And then Ooh wow. Wow. We got the original uh I think it's the original, yeah, Carnage. That's a cool pop. That's a cool pop. That was actually on the um the front page for the top hits. That's really awesome. I'm happy with this. That's that's great. I'll um I'll value these at the end to see how much these are all worth. But uh, yeah, that is a really cool pop. I'm definitely happy with that as a uh, a first pull from this uh, from this box. That's awesome. So right, without further ado, let's get into the uh, second one. Uh, if that's anything to go off of, then uh, this could be something really cool. Obviously, we've got a hit. So I don't mind so much if this one is a miss. Again, as long as it's something that I don't already have, I'm going to be okay with it. Because it's Marvel or Star Wars. Uh, we did just get a Marvel one there. So hopefully this one might be a Star Wars one. But uh, again, I don't know. These are completely ra these are packaged completely randomly. So there's no, uh, no guarantee for what it could be. Um, but yeah. Ooh. We gotta bring me the Funko sticker as well. Did, did this box have one? Uh, no, it doesn't appear that it did. <laughs> that's random. But um, maybe that's a sign that. Oh, and they. Oh, it says miss on it. So uh, we didn't get a hit, unfortunately. Oh. With uh, this one, we know that already. But hey, I don't mind as long as it is something that I don't already have. So again, I'm not looking. I'm not looking, I can't see what it is. So hopefully it's something where's the okay, here it is. Right, hopefully it's something that I do not already own. Alright, I believe this is the front side it feels like that's the window. Okay. Ooh, nice! We got the spirit spider. This is actually this isn't the glow in the dark version unfortunately, which is the version that I would have really wanted. But Spirit Spider is what a really, really awesome pop. I have, like I said, I have been looking for the glow in the dark version of this, so hence why I don't own the common version. But this is an absolutely beautiful pop, and I, I am really, really happy with this one as well. So that is actually two really, really awesome pulls that we got from this mystery box. Um, two pops that I actually do genuinely love and actually want for the collection. So that is, that is absolutely awesome. I couldn't be happier with, um, well, I, I couldn't have been happy with the Boba Fett, obviously. But still, these are two really, really awesome pops. And I am absolutely, I'm over the moon with them. I really am. And uh, so let's go to the uh, pop directory and value these out and see if we made our money back. I mean, with, I reckon with the Carnage, that's probably worth over 30 quid on its own. So, which is how much I paid for the two boxes. They were £15 each. Um, so I reckon the Carnage probably made our money back by itself and this is essentially just a free pop. But I don't know that yet. So let's head over to the pop directory and see how much they are both worth. Okay, so I've just been onto the pop directory and valued these two out. Um, we start out with the Spirit Spider, which is apparently a Walgreens exclusive. Um, I didn't even know it was an exclusive. It doesn't have the sticker on it, but the pop directory doesn't take stickers into account. So this pop itself is worth £9, so not quite the value of the box itself. We did lose a bit of money on that one, £4, but, no not £4, what am I on? I just can't do math. £6, we lost £6 on that one, but Spirit, uh, not Spirit Spider, Carnage did make up for it. It wasn't worth quite as much as I thought it was going to be but it's still worth £26. So altogether we earned back, we earned £35 on these figures which is obviously a £5 profit which is really awesome and again I'm just 
I'm just really happy that we got figures that I actually wanted. Like I said, the Spirit Spider, even though it's not the glow in the dark version, is still a really awesome pop that I did want for the collection. And then that Carnage being one of the top hits, that's just really awesome. Plus, we got a hit and a miss, so we're, you know, we're going by the odds. And just to point out, this is the first mystery box I have ever opened. And we got one of the top hits in it. The first mystery box I've ever opened, and I got one of the top hits. Yeah, you said that. That's insanely lucky. I actually, I can't believe the, the kind of look that I got there. So that's amazing. Really, really happy with these two uh, figures that I got in the mystery box. I can't, you know, I can't believe my look with these, really. It's, um, it's really, really cool. Definitely going to be ordering uh, more Bring Me The Funko Mystery Boxes in the future. I really enjoyed opening it up on film. Um, hopefully my, again, my performance was a bit more energetic uh, in this video because I have been very, very excited. Um, and hopefully that shows uh, and maybe I'll do more of these. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be ordering more Bring Me The Funko Mystery Boxes. And maybe I'll go for Mystery Boxes from other places. These are really, really fun to open up. So, maybe I'll do some more. I don't know. I'm definitely going to order more, whether it'll be on camera, I don't know. But, yeah, that's uh, about everything that I have to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I never know how to end things, so um, I'm just going to, you know, just walk away, and that's, that's my outro, so bye-bye.